Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please head over to Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I'm going to answer a question from a fan named Whitney. Whitney had asked on another video that I had posted, which was called Stop Excel from Overlapping the Columns when Moving a Data Series to the Second Axis. Uh, she wanted to know um, if I have uh, really small numbers. Like let's say uh, uh, for T and decaf, so if I have a third series and I want to move the really large series over to the secondary axis, how can I do that? So as you see, I've done that here, um, and uh, so it's keeping these two smaller ones, which get very very small and are hard to discern uh, on um, when they're compared to these really large numbers, uh, and so they want to move these larger data series to the secondary column. All right, so here's how we would have our data set up for something like this. And if you uh, go ahead and chart this data by going to your insert ribbon, column, 2D column chart, uh, you'll notice uh, that, uh, once again, those T and decaf are just very small, hard to discern. So what I want to do is I want to move um, the regular coffee. Um, oh, actually, and I, first I need to switch the rows or columns. Once again, you can see very small. I want to move regular coffee to the secondary axis so you can discern a little bit more about the uh, first two data series. If I right click on that and do format data series and I move that series to the secondary axis, click on OK, you'll see it overlaps them. Now it's not horrible in this instance, uh, but uh, uh, what Excel does is it normally overlaps these because I think what it's trying to do is it's this is how you might have, say, a line chart where you want a line chart to split the center of this category by moving it to the secondary axis. And I believe that's what Excel's trying to do, uh, but not what we want to do. So uh, in the previous video, what I showed you how to do is to create some padding columns. And um, what we did is we created one padding column for tea and one padding column for coffee so that they could overlap kind of in the center uh, and you could see the other two side by side. But uh, the problem that Whitney's asking is how do I keep these two here on the left, on the left-hand uh, horizontal, vertical axis, and regular coffee over on the right? Well, we need to create a padding column for each individual series that we need to overlap. So what I would need to do is, um, so if these two are on the left at vertical axis, I need to create one padding column that will just be zero or blank for regular coffee. Likewise, on the secondary axis, I need to create two uh, columns of data or sets of data uh, to, that are going to be zero or blank to overlap the tea and coffee. So you can kind of ex extrapolate this to as many series as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some columns. So uh, once again, we need to insert uh, one for the left vertical axes, and then we need to have um, two padding columns for the right vertical axes, number one, and uh, I'll just copy that over. Oops, went too far, and we'll call that number two. All right, so let's uh, expand those out a little bit and uh, let's see what we get. All right, so what we want to do is now highlight our columns of data um, and including everything. Go up to your insert ribbon, columns, 2D column chart. Let me drag that uh, chart over so you can see it a little bit better. Um, now, what you can see here is uh, uh, we first need to switch the uh, rows versus columns. So if I click anywhere in the chart, I'll have a charting tools design ribbon pop up and I want to switch columns because I want January, February, and March to be on the bottom. And uh, then what I want to do is just right click on any one of these columns, do format data series, and then let's move this to the secondary axis. Now we need to do that for these other two E and F columns. And the best way to do that is to uh, click anywhere in the chart and then move your up and down arrows until you see it highlighted. Now I've highlighted the right vertical axis number one. Can move that to the secondary axis. Once again, click in the chart, move your up and down arrows until you get to the one that you want, which is the secondary right vertical axis. Move that to the secondary axis. Click on close and you can see, so now we have our padding set up correctly. Um, so if I uh, uh, were to put some numbers in here, let's put in some really large numbers um, on the uh, uh, right vertical axis. Let's do a thousand. And you can see that that's showing up here in purple um, over uh, um, in the first padding row. And let's do uh, 2,000 in the next one. You can see that's just, it's showing up there. They're overlapping, but we're just pushing over our regular coffee over to the far right. Now, uh, the only other problem that we need to fix is our legend. 
Uh, and so just click on your legend, go into your legend and select any one of the ones that we want to delete, like left vertical axis, we can delete that one. Click on the legend, click on the legend entry and hit your delete key and do that for the final one. So there, we have our finalized chart. Now, I do have a slight issue with the chart. It's very hard to discern which one of these is to the right and which one is to the left. We do have it set up that way that the rightmost series is. But what about the center one, decaf coffee? How do we know where that one goes? Well, uh, to keep this video short, I'll put that in the next post on another way to do this. But Whitney, hopefully this answers your question on how to have three different data series. Um, and such that you can uh, put them together and have two on one axis and one on the other without them overlapping. Uh, please stay tuned for the next video so that you can see another way to, that we can fix the legend and maybe also fix a little bit with the data to separate it a little bit more. Also, consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.